In this lecture, we're going to look into growing security and threat issues. Number one, botnet. Botnet is robot plus network, where the bot and the net part are combined together. Multiple devices are used to conduct internet attacks by the botnet owner, which is the attacker. The types of attacks that are conducted are DDoS, stealing data, sending spam, or doing intrusions. And zombie computers are used frequently as botnets. A zombie computer is a hacker-compromised computer connected to the internet. And the scary thing about it is that the user may not be, may not be aware that his or her computer is actually a zombie computer. So the process can be done so covertly that the user may not even know. The next one is zero-day vulnerability. And a new zero-day vulnerability is discovered almost every day. Zero-day attack is an attack on the vulnerability of a web system that commonly results in disabling of web services. The terminology of zero-day refers to the day that a critical system, network software, or platform vulnerability was patched such that the web operations was restored and thereby day zero has started again for the services. Then we have browser and website attacks. The key thing is that browser and website attacks will be attempted no matter what. If you have a browser, if you have a website, then yes, unfortunately, eventually at some point it will be attacked. That's the sad truth. Attackers are always looking for vulnerabilities in browsers and website plugs in, plugins. And vulnerabilities are found in three quarters of all websites. Now, the other thing is that repeated attacks. Companies that are attacked once typically are almost always attacked again. This is the sad reality. In other words, if you're 100% going to be attacked and then almost guaranteed to be attacked and attacked again. So therefore, you can see that bigger companies get much more attacks. Of course, they do. And also, ransomware is increasing rapidly. So therefore, you have to really be careful on how you defend and provide network security. In addition, the issue of reporting. Companies are not reporting all security breaches and attacks that they have received. Billions of personal records are lost or stolen, and the company's reputation is damaged very seriously. That is one of the reasons that they know that they've been breached, but they will not announce it. Another reason that is even more scary is that the company may not know if they've been breached or not. In addition, they may not even know how to recover. If it comes like this, then you really have to worry. So therefore, the effort that you need to put into security and threat prevention is significant. Where should my website be hosted? How am I going to protect it? These are some of the issues that we need to consider in the future. These are the references that I used, and I recommend them to you. Thank you.